हरि ओम दीप्ति जी हरि ओम जी Someone wants to try chanting or try to it. Deepthi ji, may I try it? Yes. Start. Sada Shiv Samaram Haam Shankra Charyam Madhyam Haam Asmada Charya Pariyantam वंदे गुरु परम प्रणाम श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा नाम आलयम करुणालयम नमामि भगवत पाद शंकरम लोक शंकरम शंकरम शंकराचार्यम केशवम बादरायणम सूत्र भाष्य कृतौ वन्दे भगवन्तौ पुनर्पुनः ओम सहना भवतु सहनौ पुनक्तु सहवीर्यम करवावहै तेजस्वी नावथीतमस्तु मा विद्विशावहै ओम शांति 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 यदा संहरते चापम् कूर्मोंगा नीव सर्वशः इंद्रियाणि इंद्रियाथे भ्य तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता विषया विनिवर्तन्ते निराहारस्य देहिनः तस्वर्ज रसोप्यस्य परम दृष्टवा निवर्तते यत तो ह्यपि कौन्तेय पुरुषस्य विपस्चितः इंद्रियाणि प्रमाथीनि हरन्ति प्रसभं मनः सॉरी बीच में ना छोड़ा वेरी गुड थैंक यू वेरी गुड सो वंस देर इस नॉलेज आत्मविद्या गेन्ड थ्रू अ कंटिन्यूअस श्रवणम मेथोडिकली सिस्टमैटिकली and one has had an opportunity to clarify one's doubts. Therefore, with reference to one's nature being pure awareness, pure consciousness, which is called Atman, which is called Brahman, once there is no doubt left about it, then also this is a very essential caution given to every seeker, every student. Initially, the struggle is to control the senses. Indriyo ko chithil karna. Indriyo ko kamzor karna. The strength of the senses 
initial practices or initial effort is to weaken them so that when my mind is focused on a subtle topic like Vedanta, when my mind has to focus upon listening to my nature, when my mind has to be available, even in things that are pertaining to right and wrong, good and bad, permanent and impermanent, when important decisions are taken, which one is the right choice, etc. That availability of the mind to be with oneself, hear Krishna's cautioning that if your senses are strong, they dictate where you go for your experiences. In which experiences, sense experiences, do you find pleasure or pain? And they are the only ones that dictate your movement. Your senses govern the direction that your life takes, the choices you make. If the senses are going to be powerful and you have not practiced or put in the effort to weaken them in the initial stages when you are listening to Atma Vidya, then even on completion of listening, there is a great pitfall, there is a great danger. And the danger is that your mind will not hold the knowledge. Thir pragnya ki avastha nahi banegi. Your wisdom will not get established because the mind will be drawn with the senses outward. So you on one hand you are restraining and you are learning Atma Vidya. You are putting in the effort diligently. Intellectually you are gaining clarity. Your mind is also able to understand its importance. You are also inspired to follow it. But the very first level of sense control was overlooked. Very often it gets overlooked because except for the Shastra, especially for people who do a lot of self-study, if you are just learning, say nowadays, even through just online lectures, and that missing element of a direction shown through wisdom may be there. Listening, you may get clarity. There is no doubt left in your mind. But that part you may not be aware of, which says that your sense control is necessary for Sthita Pragna. So look at this portion. I say it's very intelligent how Krishna has put it forward. While describing a man of perfection, a man of Sthita Pragna, one would say, why does he need sense control? Why is he told that, why is this portion there in this context? Ki Sthita Pragna wo hai Jiski indriya uske vash mein puri tarah se and sab indriya uske vash mein hai. Why is it important to be told? What is told is for him they are effortlessly in his control. Like a tortoise he effortlessly draws back into his nature. For vyavaharic transaction he comes out, he identifies with his organs of perception and action, he does the appropriate necessary action, responds back to the world as necessary, as deemed in Vyavahar dharmically. He does what is to be done, but the minute he finds either futility of any further engagement or for whatever reason he finds 
it's it's not product productive is a, not the low kick sense of productive but it is not worthwhile there are people who are hell bent on their own ideas it's not worthwhile to engage any further in the conversations or in showing the way even if you know the right thing he come very effortlessly draws back into his own self it's a very beautiful practice ye aadat banana finding sthirta in yourself even at a relative level even within our own existent knowledge our own existent wisdom we all have a certain degree of an existent wisdom gained by our experiences gained by our own thinking gained by our own um, life that we have led in the past there is a certain level of absorption of knowledge wisdom which we identify with as our viveka shakti there are areas that we know what are right and wrong there are areas that we are able to understand and figure out that much also if we hold on to here he says at this level of your learning shastra vidya pay importance equally much to your practice of your sense control it will not be effortless like a man of sthita pragnya which means which means that effort that you need to put in for sense control do not resist it do not make that as a problem do not make that as an issue indriyo ko vash mein karna is important very essential it is like saying if your indriyas are not in your control you are driving a car without brakes when you drive a car without a brake how far will you go how dangerous is it that is the same condition of a jiva of an individual who wants peace who wants unsatiated happiness insatiable happiness infinite happiness wants to find a anchor within which is a source of deep joy and peace apne andar hi ek anand chahiye jo itna anand hai that you can be by yourself with yourself independent in your state of your peace and happiness that what you want you will miss out on nahi prapt hoga nahi uplabdh hoga and i am not compromising the words i am not playing them soft i am stating as shastra says there are 11 verses and 6 here in particular that are mentioned as important indriya nigraha if the wisdom has to be stabilized apne gyan ka thehra agar rakhna hai to your indriya has to be under your control what are the ways in which indriyas can come under control what is indriya in the first place he says here in the 59th verse the dehi which means the jiva the indweller niraharasya jo ahar nahi karta ahar is what this ahar is something that you take in through your senses aankhon ka ahar kya hai shabd aur roop i'm sorry roop aur rang 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 eyes what is the food for eyes ahar word means ahriyate a is coming in riyate is your taking it in coming forcefully inside andar lana ahriyate iti ahara 
each sense organ, indriya, feeds on, it feeds on, uska ek ahar hai, which nourishes the indriya. If you feed the indriya with its respective ahar, the indriyas have bal, balwan hote hai, they gain strength, they become strong and powerful. So if your eyes, ahar is color and form, and you feed them, the indriya gets strong, which means now the indriya will look for the pleasure that it gets from color and form. How long will that pleasure last? Even if you get color and form, we all know very, very shanikam, shanikam, momentary. After that, you will wait for another indriya, ahar, ears. One of the greatest ahar for the ears is when someone gives flattery to us, when we get flattered by someone, someone praises us. Ah, ka, karn ka, karn is ears. Ears ke liye it is a great ahar. You like, you know, you know, one likes it. When one is applauded, one is recognized, one is appreciated. One has a good feeling about it. That means, Shabd aisa hai jo ahar hua and it nourished the ear. It nourished the indriya. Food we all know for the tongue. Smell. What is smell? Everything is associated around good smell. There is a whole industry around good smell won't mention it and then touch soft touch touch how you should have a softness around it the fabric should be soft everything why are such soft toys so industry again these indriyo ke ahar are industries today they, they weaken you by supplying to you Newer and newer, fresher and fresher objects which your indriyas get attracted to. Ahar hai unka. So it will feed on them. Niraharasya means when you do not feed on them. If you have to pay attention to any indriya, I would say take speech. Vak. Vak is also an indriya, organ of action. If you have to pay attention to vak, how does vak get strong? What strengthens vak indriya? Kese bal milta hai isko? In the sense of weak, these words are interplayable. How does vak become weak? Your weakness. When you when say you have no things, control. Yeah, when you say things without thinking, maybe. When you say things without thinking and go on adding to it. That's correct. When you say things without thinking, based on what will you say? Things without thinking. Of course, without thinking. So what is propelling that thought without thinking? Propelling the speech without thinking. No control as in, you know, you're not able to stay quiet. You're not able to stay excellent. You're not able to stay quiet. Why are you not able to stay quiet? Because your mind is always racing. So you want to talk to someone constantly. It becomes a need at one point. Excellent. It becomes a need at one point. Yes. From where does that come? One cannot hold on to their own thoughts. They just want to get rid get ah. them out why do you want to get them out excellent it, it what is the boost it disturbs or maybe they get you? more uh, they get uh, less pacify they can pacify themselves with taking it correct. out correct so it kind of if the minute you i would say vomit it out as if you have you feel a certain sense of 
certain sense of satisfaction for some time. Without taking it out, there's restlessness in the mind. But I'm saying, why do you need to say that? Yes, Ninda and Stuti, when these are the ways in which you talk, one of the ways, but this Desi is more desire. Desires. Excellent. Desire in what form? If you have to break the desire, what will you break it into? What are the two desires? Fundamental? Fundamental category of desires. Um, uh, desires, kaisi hai? Kya hai? Wish. Um, wish. So, break it up into rag, wish. Wish, yeah. Rag and wish. Tab ichcha hai rag and wish mein hi aajati hai na? All our desires are fundamental. Remember, we've done this. Rag is what? Rag itself is that which is becoming your desire. It is desire. It is an English term for desire. Because of ragadvesh. Correct. That ragadvesh which is making you restless till you are able to use this. Some way you want to come express that ragadvesh. Now, the minute you do it without thinking, all these are correct. Put them together now. The minute you do it without thinking, you at that time feel you've had an outlet. But what has happened to the Indriya? Strengthen. Aapne usko bal de diya by acting on it. When you give it greater strength, every time you act in discriminate manner, indiscriminately, Based on Ragadvesh impulses, immediateness without thinking, the outcome of your speech, the, the beneficialness of your speech, the words that you use without any such governance on your part, when it is used, it strengthens the Indriya. So what will happen to your Jiva, Jivatva? What happens to your will because of that? Jivatva means you have an independent will. What happens to that will next time? If your walk has become stronger, I acted on it today. I used it. It's gained strength. That much. Proportionately, what has happened to the will for the next instance? It will get strengthened. You may want to, you'll use it even further. Like the, the level will go up. The, the will will become weaker. Okay. okay. The will will become weaker because what has happened, the indriya will gain strength. It will take the mind quicker. Away. Before you can use your will, will weakens. Before you use your will, before you can stop yourself, that much easier the indriya will be to get a response from you. Every time the indriya is strengthened, if you go back 50 years behind in our lifestyles, I don't know how many of you had this Geezers were very new in the society. Our parents, grandparents, how did they heat water? Using a rod. Using a rod was also okay, recent. Chula. The heat. Chula. A fire, yeah, they would build a fireplace and there were huge pot of water, big, you know, a pot of water. You may have electrical uh, pots also, like a rod, etc. But each family member would use water from there. Slowly what happened? So there was a limitation on how much hot water you could use for your bath. But now exactly. it is... Exactly. Not only... Yes, perfect. There was a limitation on how much you could use. Your indriyas were kept under external control. But internally what happened? You want more water. One person wants more water. 
invariably in the family when one person wants more or you have a head bath you have a, in those days oil massages and oil baths were also quite frequent you have a you leave more water, more water slowly slowly the convenience part of it in the human race took over then what happened every family had one instant geyser what was instant geyser initially there were instant geysers very parallel to um, rods which means they would only take out bucket with a very small even now you have instant geysers available that's not enough then what happened only one in a family then slowly what happened our bathrooms increased restrooms increased every bathroom has this indriyo ko aapne jitna nourish kiya in this example are you content with it now is it okay just to have a he's geezer in the washrooms no the now what do you need now Even what do you need have unlimited water you still want to stay longer and longer in the bath and you keep on wasting more water and you are allowing yourself your mind is saying ye pani waste ho raha hai pani waste ho raha hai but because you are used to it you are strengthening that thing correct and now what else more do you want more water more everything agreed there's one more thing now you want you wanted hotter you wanted hotter what else do you want steam bath now and you don't want a geyser you want it without geyser like it you should be want something like your a- Cold water. Larger geysers. You want that is with more. You want a AC in your washroom which heats also, and you want it in the kitchen. There are washrooms which have now ACs which heat the air so that you don't feel cold at all. Did it stop? You have to see. You have to see this. This is only one example. The central heating, correct. in the washroom also you must have heating central heating you have to see this is one example because in the north of course it's winters here in india you have to see the strength of indriya diti ji may i say was the winters any less for our parents and their parents but were they as wishful even if they were because they were wishful of course not that it could be fed did we come to this point but did it satisfy us the next generation they provided for the next generation we all have all these conveniences that they didn't have but did it bring us extra contentment from them did our indriya become quiet has our indriya become weaker because we now have the convenience can anybody say that i am independent of the geyser and i don't want the the central heating no this indriyo ka kel vyapar how much does it rule us is clearly seen in how disturbed and agitated we are when this indriya is not fulfilled for us when it is fulfilled there is another kind of disturbance and that disturbance is you want more you want and you more. want to stay <laughs> and and you wanted to stay and you wanted to stay you want more and you wanted to stay and you cannot think of a state where if it is not there it will be survival is possible you can't imagine your survival survival such a big word we feel i have been denied denied what hot water 
mind is upset. This is the level. A lot of people ask us over the years, Gyan sun ke pakta kyo nahi hai? Pakta kyo nahi? Any one of us. It applies to all of us indiscriminately. Wherever there will be the weakness of the Indriya, there your pragna cannot be established. Hush, shank, sorry, Krishna says this. He is elaborating it. He is emphasizing it to Arjun. He, if there is this wisdom there, and for this knowledge to establish, because why should the knowledge establish? Only an established knowledge can have shoka and moh nivritti, samsara nivritti. Remember the first lessons of the Gita. Gita is a book for shoka and moh nivritti. Arjun is an example set in front of us of a shoki and a mohi. He is a shoka atma, moh atma in that context alone he is representing all of us if you want relief from shok and moha and samsara and dukkha then atma gyan is the answer if atma gyan is the answer then this mind the way it is today fed by all the indriyas nourished by it humne usko itna jad bana diya hai you know what is the more you nourish the indriyas, you make it jad. Jad in English would be you make them grosser and grosser. And actually, your pleasures get grosser and grosser. You want grosser and grosser pleasures. The starting point may be very refined. That is why people who do not have too much, they get happiness even from very little. Why? Because the Indriyas are so not so powerful that a small thing can also bring joy. How a child can get a joy. From small things it will get happiness. It's fascinating. How does a child get a, a newborn child who has this on his pram, you have this toy, multicolored toy swirling around, chabi chadhao and and you say, ooh, and the child giggles. Even that, ooh, can giggle a child. Why? Because the Indriya is so fresh. The Indriya has never experienced anything. That Indriya, even that little thing that comes, is a source of joy. And that source of joy, as you grow older and older, in the Shari, Shari, Ri, Dehi, Indriya se chipka rehta hai. You have Tadatmya with the Indriya. We don't know any other pleasure. We don't know any other source of pleasure. So because of the Tadatmya with the Indriya, what is Tadatmya? Chipakna, Judna. Indriya se chipke hai. That is why we move with the Indriyas. Indriyo ko apne vishayo se milke ek pal bhar ka anand hai. So when my tongue tastes even different, uh, say tea, take tea for example or coffee for example in the modern times. My God, look at the variety of coffee that has grown in last 10 years, 5 years. It's crazy. Simple coffee. Simple tea. It's so confusing now if you go and say, okay, I want tea. It was a simple concept of tea. And now there is this tea and that tea and that tea and that tea and this. And then now to make a perfect taste, you need those temperature thermometers. At this temperature, if you brew your tea and coffee, then is this desirable? Is this desirable at all? Yet we all become, I would say, a victim of it. Why? Because the whole concept of structure of society is flourishing around 
providing nourishment to your indriya because we identify happiness pleasure as happiness when the indriyas are fed and they need feeding constantly you feed them it gets digested wo pushed ho jate hain and then again they ask for more so you're not happy so now again again and again and again and finally indriyas come to a stage of acclimatization which means it no longer is providing you happiness but if you deny yourself it will give you pain you are unhappy le ke abanan nahi hai magar soch ke ki chhod de to there is pain so you increase the dose of it you increase the dose of your pleasure intake and then for some time you get the tickle i call them sensory tickles they you get a tickle and then just as a tickle ha ha and then gone and then gone replaced back by some sort of a they avoid some sort of an emptiness again and again some indriya will you have to watch for some time how the indriyas rule us today we are a personality different from each other not so much based on our characters why are we different personalities today most of us 90% of the humanity because of our desires because of our desires indriya hamari kaise pushed hui hai that is why we are different people today based on our characters if we were different that would have been great i have a strength of character and that strength of character comes because of what when is a character built where does a strength of char- character come when is a character built what is a character from the mind the the intellect mind the that builds character absolutely so when you know what is right and what is wrong and you are able to manage your indriya first bhagta nahi hai us vishay ko poorn karne ke liye apne aap ko us vishay ko uncontrollably paana nahi chahta agar legitimately mil raha hai well and good no problem but if it is weakening it is devoid it is uh, restrained from therefore shastra advises and as i said yesterday our religious practices were all meant so that our indriyas get a regular dose of withdrawal from their activities so example i took of speech what would be the withdrawal for the speech which exercise would एक्सरसाइज if my uh, tongue my food my taste is my weakness indriya then fasting of food is my restraint if i am weak for music my indriyas need constant you know when we go for walks also most of us have you can't in fact go for a walk if you don't have your earphones on and now earphones also have taken evolution see the evolution of objects we used to have one transistor at home one radio at home and then all this mobile things came and then you used to have when the first time earphones came just a few years ago they were attached to our equipments you know and then very so now what do we have latest pad earbuds earbuds it's all earbuds Sorry. wireless earphones so you see people walking around with our, uh, with with that you will also have 
we'll also because it's convenient no doubt about it but the more we are feeding it we are not recognizing the convenience is coming at a price what is the price it is weakening us as an individual i cannot do without it i cannot be without it and therefore oh is it and therefore what would be the control for such a person indri agar aapki bhakti hai on all kinds of music even if it's classical music doesn't classical music is at least subtle if it runs after music what would be your control indriya ko kamzor kaise karoge stay away from music don't use those you have in all indriyas any indriya that you identify as your weakness the only way to first weaken is regulation you have to interrupt its speeding you have to give a break to its speeding usko break you have to give a break which means food is a good example if i eat every day three meals a day then after one once a week or once in 15 days or once a month or once in six months i give a break you choose the breaking that is why in our culture it is absolutely individually possible to carve your own spiritual path based on the same fundamental principles because your indriya which is weak and my indriya which is weak may be different but we can apply the same principle in our own way and evolve ourselves and come to the same point of strength because our indriyas have become weaker but we can choose our own discipline so he says the one who is nirahaarah from such a person who is determined and i mean this completely who is determined to keep the sense objects under their own jurisdiction sense objects have never proclaimed that i am a source of joy identify this understand this well sense objects are not screaming from there that look look i am a source of your joy food on a on a hot plate is not saying i am a source of your joy if you go for a buffet fortunately so far we still have there's a vegetarian section and a non vegetarian section if you are a vegetarian where do you go instantly your feet move towards that if you are a non vegetarian where do your feet go automatically there that why did i bring this example to bring the yeah. objects under yeah. their jurisdiction and like your determined who determines who determines right. hira who is determined to keep sense the object yeah. under their jurisdiction ha huh. keep the object under their own the ha huh. correct the non veg or veg is not screaming that i am a source of your happiness is the non veg platter there and a veg platter there screaming from there oh look look have me i'll give you happiness because if it was so then we didn't need the discrimination of of correct we didn't need the discrimination of veg and non veg because the fact is non veg is a source of joy for some and it is a source of displeasure for some it is a source of pain for some these practices have been brought in to such level by by great people you know why they are great today why they are recognized as great say people like ramakrishna paramahamsa it is said whether it was purvam or in this life no he was he would get um, 
he couldn't touch money. And this is a real story. It's not a story. It's a real incident. He couldn't touch money. If he touched money, it, it created a sensation within his body, which was not pleasant. He's obviously done some sort of a practice in the past. So one of these acharyas, did I mention this before in the class? No. One of these acharya swamis you know, in that time couldn't believe how can someone have so much... Uh, The right words were, it was as if someone, there was a current that passed through his body. It was that kind of, a, you know, his whole, um, whole body would react to that. Body was reacting to it. So one of them was naughty enough and they decided that they were going to test this. How is it even possible that someone has such a reaction? Hoga? Touch money se reaction ho sakta hai? So where his normal asana was in satsangs, where he would sit with his own these disciples and if somebody came to visit him, his first set of disciples with him, under his asana, somebody kept a money. He didn't know. But where he used to sit under his mat, they kept some money. The minute he sat, he jumped up. And he said, how do you react? He reacted like that. And he pointed to the source under the mat. Nobody today will believe this story. Nobody today can understand this. Is a real thing that happens. For whom? For those who have practiced Indriya Nigraha. Determined. At any point, if you want to grow yourself, if you want to evolve yourself, if you want mastery over yourself, even relatively in life, apne upar agar mastery chahiye, the only way is you have to control your senses. And when they saw Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, whoever had even a little sunshine dissolved completely because this is a fact. There are some times that you feel, uh, you know, when these people go for bhikshas and certain homes, even you would feel that relative. If you have a cook at home, if you have are a cook and your mind is not so happy that day, if there is a sadhak, if there is a sensitive person, you take a morsel and you can say the state of mind of the cook under which condition have they made the food. It will react in the body. The state of mind can react in your body. Now those who are seeing from outside, if they saw such a behavior of Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, what can they, what will they judge? They won't identify with it. They'll they be like, don't identify and they can misjudge it completely and they will counter judge it. They can criticize it, they can look down upon it. What sort of a wise person is he? What sort of a etc etc. That is what Duryodhan was doing to Krishna. What sort of a etc. This Indriya, this mean and this is real. It's no longer theory. Agar kisi ko apna anand vapis lena hai apne andar, you want your source of happiness re recovered. I am a source of joy. I, as a child, I was only a happy child. I only cried when I needed something. Otherwise, no child is an unhappy child. I don't think so. I don't know. I can't claim it. But I mean, I haven't done any, I don't know of any studies or statistics like that. But I presume no child is an unhappy child you only cry when you are hungry excuse me or you are wet or you need you are insecure from within or something like that but fundamentally left by yourself either your past impressions are playing so you are crying left by yourself you are a bundle of joy that's why everybody looks forward to your to your company as a child 
as you grow up, this growth of an individual, जीवों की एक अपनी जो like the body grows, your antakaran also has to grow. That aspect is not catered to. Only thing that is catered to growth of the individual means feed the individual. Bharpoor do. Because if you don't, then you are denying the child. Denial is not complete. Our parents were very, very intelligent. If we wanted an object, they put a challenge. Isn't it? If the phones came out at that time, or if you wanted even anything, if you wanted even a small thing, what was the challenge your parent put normally? Do well in studies. <laughs> Do well in studies and you will get it. You had to wait for a whole six months, one or either your quarter quarter exams or your semi exams or your final exams. But they'll put some challenge in front of you. You have to work for that joy. Unless only you work for that joy, it will be given to you. This is the way indriyas could be regulated. Indriya nigraha ka matlab hai regulate your indriya. If you don't regulate your indriya and you leave them by themselves thinking that is going to be your personality development, thinking that it is forming your personality, Shastra says this will destroy you as a person. He is going to talk of it very soon in 64th verse, I think. It will bring your downfall and you will be destroyed as a person. In today's world, there are so many substances available which are going around in the name of creating, giving creative powers, enhancing your creative power. Bringing up your, um, what is it called? I don't know what they call it exactly okay. as. Actually mind, it will make the mind run or something. Some create some false illusion or something and you will get some idea. Bring, bring, exactly. It will help you to perform better. This is a huge flaw. It is almost getting missed by people. They're not ready to accept it because they think when they took, they found that. But what it does after, did you see what it does after? Indriyo ko aapne bhar diya, uske baad kya hua? Gulam ho gaya. After it left you weak. Those who drink a lot, you need another, what do you do after if you have over drunk? You. Puke. Very simple. What does that mean? That means body cannot handle it. Physiologically it also it is telling you, Bhaiya, my Indriya's, Indriya itself carry hai aapko. Bhaiya, this has gone even above my limit. But you are feeding it. The body is responding to say no more. But you are feeding it. That Object is giving me happiness. Who is deciding it? Kisne aaropan kiya ki is vishay mein mujhe anand mil raha hai? That wedge and non veg section, one of us go here and five of us go there. Who is deciding that that food is palatable to me and not this? Who is that... saying that this is joy for me? Desires, conscience, desires, you put a value to it. Correct. To those who have non veg, even they are given certain days that they are said don't have non veg on these days. To all vegetarians, are you told to these days have non veg? No. There is a because what pravritti does any sense engagement bring? That is what you observe within yourself. What you consume, the word ahar means what you are consuming. Nirahar means free of that consumption. 
devoid of that consumption, abstaining from that consumption. Ahar Indriyoka is not food. Food is, Ahar is a uh, Lakshana word. It is not just food which is an Ahar. Hindi word for food is also Ahar. Ahar means consumption. What are you consuming through your senses within yourself? That consumption, Tastra says, you have to regulate it and more so if you are gaining in the stage where you are gaining knowledge. I am talking of now two stages. One stage before you come to Vedanta Shravanam. Dunya ke log, sab, which is only allowing Indriya, Grahanam as their life goal. Bhog is their life purpose. Everything I do in life is for some bhog or the other. Bhog is my goal of life. Bhog is ahar bhog, indriyo ka bhog, vishayo ka bhog. Letting my sense pleasures remain the goal of my life. When that is my primary purpose of life, you can only be told, bus, bus, bus. Enough. Leave it. No more. But you can only stop there. Because what has this person got to lose who is only living on bhog? What is he got to lose now? What is he gaining and what is he losing? He is only already a samsari. The only way he can grow himself is if he puts some sort of a limit to it. But he is not one of those. Ustas. For him, the life is eat, live, be merry, enjoy. Look for occasions to throw a party and be in a party and enjoy life. That's the purpose of life. What else is there as a purpose? As long as you're young, do whatever you're supposed to do. Gain as much sense, experience and pleasure as possible. This is your goal of life. What can you lose? There is hardly anything. You are already lost. Isse zada kya lose karo? You are already a samsari. You are already in samsa. You are, you are not getting free of birth and death and punarapi jananam, punarapi mara. Your dependence on various sense pleasures will only multiply. But to whom is this very essential? Who has all that starting point being same for all of us? All of us were dependent on sense pleasures to start with. But whoever put in the effort to regulate them, Bina tapas ke hoga kya? Bina effort dale hoga kya? If my mind says I need, I need, uh, what is I got a recent. Uh, a particular kind of a coffee with a particular kind of a flavor, with a particular kind of a shape of a cream over it, that coffee, that is the coffee you want. Now, if you are in the process of saying, I, let me be, let me just have coffee for the sake of coffee. Now you've got used to it, your body is used to it. I can regulate it. Once you have started that and you've understood there is more to life than just this book, and you have started pursuing the purpose of life and you've understood the reason why the indriya has to be kept under control and you are doing tapas for it. Now how important is this advice? Keep your indriya under your check. Indriyo ko apne vash me rakho. And that is applicable to everything in life. All Indriyas and from Indriya, it comes out in Vyavhar. Because Indriyas are only relating you to world, to Vyavhar, to relations, to life outside. Your Indriyas are only connecting you to Vyavhar. So Vyavhar becomes the place where you check your Indriya also. It's not just Vishay Bhog. Vishay bhog and vyavhar, I'm sorry, 
Indriya Nigraha also includes Vyabhara Nigraha. Do you see the connection? Because if your Indriya is under check, your Vyabhar will automatically become refined. If my speech is under check, obviously my Vyabhar is also under check. If I am in a particular place, at a particular time, particularly presented, presentable, in a particular occasion, Vyabhar is under check. All this is ways for Indriya Nikraha. What becomes for us as lot of effort in the beginning, with practice slowly becomes easier and easier. And finally, with practice, a stage comes when it becomes your nature. That nature means now, Suddenly, like Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, your it becomes Indriya Nigraha becomes your body throws it. It doesn't want it. It throws out. Exactly like you puke out undesirable things. When you don't need it, you throw it out. But the difference is. Effortless it is for the one whose pragna is established. His pragna gets established because of jnana. There is a question that is taken up, I have forgotten. Whether Madhusudan Saraswati ji picks it up, Shankara has certainly not picked it up or Anandiri picks it up. But the question they have put up is, I think they have put up, is um, before you said jnana is established where Indriya is established. And if Indriya is not established, Jnana cannot be established. Indriya Nigraha se, Jnana Indriya Nigraha se, Pragnya Pratishthit hai. But Pragnya Pratishthit karne ke liye Indriya Nigraha chahiye. You need Buddhi also. So, which one will come first. To the extent you have Gyan, to that an extent, you must have Indriya Nigraha to start with because Indriya Nigraha will become Mano Nigraha. And then all Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampanna can stay in place and your Viveka Shakti will be most operative, functioning the best. But when you are in this stage of that practice, for the one whose pragna is established, rasa also goes away. Indriyo me vishay to hat jata hai, nigraha karke, nirahar hoke. The object no longer holds a temptation and it wanes away, goes away. Very simple. If you don't talk to people for a few days, slowly, slowly what happens? You get used to it. Like if you do a habit for a certain amount of time, you get used to it. You get used to it and what happens to them? If they were supposing calling you in between and ever, and then what happens to them also? They also get used to it. They also get used to it. The withdrawal takes place. अलग हो जाता है विषय और इंद्रिया अलग हो जाती है विषय विड्रॉल्स इट नो लॉन्गर विल बी देयर इन योर इमीडिएट एनवायरनमेंट हट जाता है दिस इज अ नियम यस्टरडे आई वाज टेलिंग यू दिस इज अ लॉ पीपल साधक्स यूज दिस लॉ अपने अपने फायदे के लिए उठाते हैं इस लॉ को कि फॉर सम टाइम आई स्टे अवे फ्रॉम अ सेंस एंगेजमेंट द सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ दैट सेंस एंगेजमेंट विल रिसीव अवे दूर हो जाता है आपसे 
But the rasa for that sense engagement will still remain. That rasa Bhagwan says here only goes with Poona Gyan. Ras bhi vishayon ke liye ras samapth ho jata hai. When ras of param is gained. When the ras of paramatma is gained. When the ras of brahman is gained. Atma vidya is gained. So every desire will be at two levels. Yesterday we saw the subtle part of the desire which is the very formation of the sanskar that we are holding Janma Janmantar which gives us the pravritti towards our respective likes and dislikes which makes us move towards certain objects and move away from certain objects. That rasa a sadhak understands indriyo ko vash mein rakhna isle zaruri hai kyunki ras even if I cannot see it now maybe I am all under peace and control because of my practice but ras to tabhi jayega jab brahma vidya hai established till then you cannot take it for granted that you are a controlled person that your mind is controlled and your senses are controlled. The alertness, the vigilance, like a kurmaha, is always kept for a person to practice while the stage of establishment of knowledge is taking place. Raak kaha ban raha hai, dvesh kaha ban raha hai, kaun si ichha bad rahi hai, Kahan pe, you know, man kahan bhaagta hai, the alertness remains erect. The alertness remains. Till when should it remain? If somebody has to ask, I have been keeping myself in sadhana for 20, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, lifelong I have been pursuing Atma Vidya. Till when should it remain? Shastra says, don't get tired of it. And don't think because you have kept yourself under control, now you will remain under control. Adat zarur pad jayegi. It will remain your nature. But as long as the rasa is there, you are in a potential state. Any one of them can grow up. Once again, the minute there is a comfortable position, a situation, Conducive situation, conducive environment, any of your rasas which are latent will rise again like mushrooms in, 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 in monsoon. How mushrooms grow? Wild mushrooms especially. They just grow anywhere and everywhere. All that it needed was conducive environment. If there is a rasa, stay away from the object is what is recommended. Do not go near the object. Do not go near the bhog ka occasion. Like a kurmaha, withdraw your indriya. Settle within your knowledge that you have. Stay with your atma vidya to whatever degree you have found nishtha. Be with that. Don't take a chance. Don't be reckless. Don't think you have so many. What happened to Narada? That story of Narada. We all know the story of Narada. I'm sure we do. You will know it better than I do. I'm sure of that. Anybody knows the story of Narada? Who can help me out there? You are talking the कि हाँ. मैं बहुत बड़ा तपस्वी हो गया हूं हाँ. तो वो शिव जी के पास जाते उन्होंने कहा तो <laughs> उनके पास मत जाना विष्णु के पास तो पर हाँ. वो फिर भी चला जाता है 
तो फिर भगवान राम वो उसके वो ऐसी माया रचते हैं कि वो एक स्वयंवर में चला जाता है और पर उसकी शक्ल को वो चेंज कर देते हैं तो बाद में फिर उनको श्राप देता है कि जैसे मैं उसकी विरह में तड़प रहा हूँ तुम भी ऐसे ही तो खैर देन ही रियलाइज इज मिस्टेक और फिर भगवान से क्षमा मांगता है Now, when he uh, goes to Vishnu, he goes there with the abhiman that he is a nitya brahmachari. He has full control over all brahmachari. We've done this in Tattva Boda, where all your senses are under your control. Is called a brahmachari. Brahman me acharan rakne wala. It's not just one sense organ that you are a control of. All your indriyas are under is called a brahmachari. Brahmachari avastha is also your first stage of your ashram avastha. Who is a brahmachari? A student life, which means your indriyas have to be restrained at that stage when you are gaining knowledge, even in ashram wise. Brahmachari, grahastha, vana prastha, sanyasa. Who is a brahmachari? A brahmachari is one whose indriyas are to be kept restrained. Now, Narad had this abhiman that he is a nitya brahmachari. He never doubted that eruption of a vasna could be there, or there he could get. That is the Maya that Ishvara played with him to say that your rasa, it's a lesson for everyone. Don't take the rasas for granted. Don't take yourself for granted. that you have grown out of certain weaknesses till you are certain that you have atma drishti atma i am brahman that drishti is clear to you and you have you hold it like say ramana does atma vidya is held effortlessly for them till then do not take your yearning for fulfillment and seeking atma vidya do not take it lightly do not take it for granted that thoda indriya mein vash kar liya so i will be fine i am now controlled so he says therefore tani sarvani sanyamya yukta asi tamat paraha for my sake keeping me as the param keep all your senses under your control ah okay so so keep your senses under your control mat paraha one who has vashehi yasya indriyani who keeps their indriyas under their vash sirf uski pragnya pratishthit ho sakti hai aur hoti hai jiske indriya uske vash mein hai usi ki pragnya pratishthit hogi which is his established state is a practice for us because there is a huge danger the 60th verse said vipashchitah is the word that represents all of us all the knowledge that you have in your brain in your intellect after proper shravanam and mananam systematically which means 10 12 15 years kiya hai shravanam tapas kiya hai Vedant Shravanam is not one or two and finish it. Though every text will talk the same thing, but our indriyas and our ragatvesh, by the time the penny drops for us, completely makes complete connections because by default we are extroverted in our lifestyles. By the time we understand all of this, 
and now you have understood the value of this knowledge, you are a vipashchita, you are a viveki now. This advice is given to such a viveki. You should not take your indriyas for granted because the rasa will still be there. And that rasa can pramathini haranti, prasabham manaha, forcefully it will take your mind away. And once it takes your mind away, your vivek shakti, exactly what has happened to Arjun, in a very little sense, what can happen to us can be a lot more than that. This danger he is going to talk of from 62nd verse. Have we completed all? 59, we have done 60, we have done 61, we have done, right? And he says Pramathini Pramathana Shilani Vishaya Abhimukham. Beautiful word. What is Pramathini? Pramatha Shilani of the nature of force. In which direction? Vishaya Abhimukham. It will as if Enter the Vishaya. Uske mukh mein going inside like a shark opened, mouth open. I mean a shark is taking a creature inside. When you see the visuals, it's taking a human, even a human being, unfortunately, when it's, or any fish or anything, you know, the shark, huge shark, blue, blue, blue shark, what is the name? It's taking so many fishes are just forced inside, goes inside, abhi mukha it's called. Each leta hai apne tarafo. You go straight fall into the object and it's bhog. Exactly like Narad. Purusham vikshobhayanti. This makes the person akuli kurvanti, akul kar deta hai. विक्षोभ कर डिस्टर्ब करता है, रेस्लेस करता है, डेट आकुली कृत्य अंदर से तुमको ना रेस्लेस, I must, I must. The good example is always that you see in in movies and serials and everywhere you see and your own. When you go back to your teenage, if you're fond of someone, and now in present times, when you have your own independent mobiles to work on. Call, should I call, should I not call, should I call, should I text, should I not text, should I do this, should I, that akuli kritya is that. Your mind is always in a restless mode. Prasabham, prasahyam, prakasham eva pasyataha viveka vijyana yukta manaha. A manaha which has become knowledgeable. You have gained the knowledge. Your intellect is clear about the knowledge. Viveka vigyan yukta man hai aapka. Prakashit hai. Such a mind is also taken away. What are we talking about? Avidyavan's mind. Do you see the difference? If a wise person's mind can also be taken away by the force of the indriyas straight into the object of its bhoga. What are we talking about what we see in the world? Unka to man bhaagega hi bhaagega. Vishayon ki taraf. Yataha tasma. That's where he said the 61st verse. Put in the effort no? to control your senses first so that the knowledge can be still, but importantly, he says, excuse me, put your entire effort into Brahma Vidya. Where did we see that? Into Brahma Vidya. Put your effort into Atma Vidya, for which you would gain sense control. So sense control doesn't become an end in itself. And therefore, a lot of people ask the question, 
that then where will he get the joy from? Is he suppressed? Blah, blah. You will get the joy from Atma Sukham. Control of Indriya. When the Indriyas become weaker, you become stronger. And when you become stronger, there is a joy from within. A joy of accomplishment. A joy of achievement. When you are able to weaken your senses and you have more control over your own thoughts, your own minds, your own likes and dislikes, when you have more control over them, you gain joy from there. These are all uh, these are all uh, joy giving controls. They give you joy, independent joy they give you. Kha ke jo anand hai, wo khilane mein nahi hai. Malab khilane mein zada hai. Khud khao. Why does a mother get a joy when you know, the last uh, pakoda was there? The child said, I want. The mother was going to eat. But the mother gives it to the child. Does the mother get unhappy? Does the mother get joy? Hmm. Why? Because देने में आनंद मिला उसको खाने में जितना आनंद है उससे ज्यादा छोड़ने में मिला पिक दैट प्रिंसिपल इन लाइफ कंज्यूम करने में जितना आनंद है उससे बहुत ज्यादा आनंद छोड़ने में होता है इनिशियली यू मे नॉट सी इट दैट आल्सो आई एम टेकिंग एज अ अलाउिंग दैट ग्रेस but there is anandam straight away. Bhogne mein jo anand hai, usse bohat zyada chhodne mein hai. Lot more joy is there. Renunciation, vairagyam, has far greater joy than raag has. So, he says, keep your entire effort into making this life. Yesterday I gave the example ये छिद्रों से अपने जीवन को निकाल के वेस्ट करना दिस टाइम एंड एनर्जी इज सो प्रेशियस मोर फॉर अ साधक दैन फॉर अ पर्सन हुज ऑलरेडी अ भोगी उसके लिए टाइम निकल जाएगा इज लाइफ बॉर्न एंड गॉन वेरी लिटिल डिफरेंस इट विल मेक इफ ही वेस्ट इट हेयर एंड देयर बट फॉर द वन हु इज इंटेंट ऑन आत्म विद्या For them, Shastra's advice is give yourself the stage of Nirahara. Nishid ka to question hi nahi utta hai. Nishid ahar ka. Nishid ahar is those that Shastra does not allow. But even within Nitya ahar, what Shastra allows the sense pleasures, even within that, cut off what is non-essential. Conserve your time, conserve your energy. And direct that time and energy into making Atma Nishtha. This last few sentences are a nutshell. This is an advice given to every student of Vedanta, to every student of Brahma Vidya. I am presuming we come to Vedanta for Brahma Vidya. To a student of Brahma Vidya, the advice is be very intelligent in Vyavhar. विवेक शक्ति से ही काम करो निषिद में तो क्वेश्चन ही नहीं उठता निषिद मीन्स आई एम रिपीटिंग माई सर निषिद मीन्स ऑलरेडी वॉट इज नॉट सैंक्शन बाय द शास्त्र यू एनी वे डू नॉट एंगेज इन टू दैट दैट इज सेंस कंट्रोल टेकन लॉन्ग बैक यूर ऑलरेडी मास्टर दैट सेंस कंट्रोल जब शास्त्र प्रोहिबिट्स यू फ्रॉम कॉजिंग इंजरी एंड कंज्यूमिंग देन यू डोंट कॉज इंजरी एंड कंज्यूम यू established up to this point now even within that whatever the shastra allows vihit ahar sense pleasures vihit allowed you are allowed music you are allowed to be in nature you are allowed to travel where unnecessary sights are not there you can watch good movies that are worthwhile you can watch documentaries you can all this is allowed you don't have to watch things that create ragadvesha stimulation to your senses that is not allowed but 
things that are giving knowledge that are pleasant to see that are harmless for the for the perception uh, they if they create they create better desires in you which provide you for uh, inspiration for your growth these are allowed by this verse shastra is telling the seeker even within that be intelligent be intelligent and clip away everything that is non essential and conserve that energy conserve that time and these are not my words this is parampara this is an advice starting say from the gita krishna himself is saying from acharyas before to every student this advice is given this caution is given don't waste your time and energy even within what is allowed restrain yourself from non essentials talk what is necessary engage as much as necessary what is important for sharir yatra keep your indriyas active let them go into those fields what is relevant for sharir yatra withdraw what is not relevant even if it's legitimate i hope that sentence is clear it's not will repeat it because it's very it's like a crux therefore his pragna will be established and 62 63 verse now he says if for whatever reason your indriya hasn't come under your control then step by step he will tell you how your life will be destroyed you will your life will be destroyed means you will be living but as a person you will be destroyed you will be destroying your potential for your growth that is absolutely the most beautiful i mean if 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 psychologists want to do research these are the verses they can hang on what makes a person fall in his life na gir jate hain jab bol jeevan mein sab theek hai and then suddenly everything goes spiraling down how does it come down and the idea is how it comes down is also how you can bring it up and these are absolutely beautiful verses 62 and 63 verse will tell us how the deterioration sets in of the personality of the person kaise aap ragdveshi ban jate ho कैसे आप कामी क्रोधी बने हो कैसे आप अहंकारी बन गए आज कैसे हो गया ये सब इवन फॉर अ पर्सन हु स्टार्टेड से आई वॉन्ट नॉलेज आई वॉन्ट विद्या एंड स्लोली स्लोली एज यू ग्रो ओल्डर कचरा भर जाता है मन में पूरा व्यवहार से अपने रिस्पॉन्सेस से कैसे हो गया ये फॉल अपने अंदर that i lost the potential in life to know atma vidya and i am now just a vyavhari insan just managing about my relations i am just a mother and a brother and a sister and a husband and a wife how did i just land up only limiting my life to such small roles in life as if they are ends in themselves and i lost the potential to know myself how did this happen because as i grow older i should have only gained more knowledge how did this fall happen that will be we'll do it on our new year starting so gift that will come from shastra to us year ending and new year so we'll do this next week Is that okay so yes we will end the class here जी आप करेंगे ओम सर्वे स्वस्तिर्भवतु सर्वे शांतिर्भवतु सर्वे पूर्णम भवतु सर्वे मंगल भवतु 
सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित दुख भाग भवे ओम स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य परिपालयताम ध्यान मगेन मही महिषा गो ब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभस्तु नि लोका समस्ता सुखिनो भवन्तु काले वर्षतु पर्जन्य पृथ्वी सस्य शालिनी देशोयम क्षोभ रहिता ब्राह्मणा सन्तु निर्भया ओम शांति 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 very good thank you so much thank you very good pranam pranam hari om dipti ji thank you dipti ji one question